subscribe and download over 1 million code snippet including this tutorial from codegive.com, link in the description below. Title, Getting Started with Python Jupyter Input, a comprehensive tutorial. Jupyter Notebooks provide an interactive computing environment that allows you to create and share documents containing live code, equations, visualizations, and narrative text. In this tutorial, we'll explore how to take user input within a Jupyter Notebook using Python, enhancing the interactivity of your code. Before we start, ensure that you have Jupyter installed on your system. If not, you can install it using the input function is a simple and direct way to take user input let's create a basic example run the cell and you'll be prompted to enter your name the input at value will then be used to greet you jupyter notebooks also support interactive widgets allowing you to create sliders buttons text boxes and more the API widgets library is commonly used for this purpose. Install it using. Now, let's create an example using a slider. Run the cell, interact with the slider, and observe the displayed message. HTML forms can be embedded in Jupyter notebooks using the ipython.display.html class. Here's a simple example. This example creates an HTML form inside the Jupyter Notebook, allowing users to input their age. In this tutorial, we explore different methods to take user input within a Jupyter Notebook using Python. From simple input, functions to interactive widgets and HTML forms, you have a variety of options to make your code more user-friendly and interactive. Experiment with these techniques and incorporate them into your Jupyter Notebooks for a richer user experience. ChatGPT